Welcome back, everybody. This is the finale of the Marquise Walker Career Mode series as we're going to the Super Bowl today with Walker and the Giants for the third consecutive season. This time, though, it's going to be our last game and our last chance to get Marquise Walker a Super Bowl title. We've won our two playoff games so far, and they've been close. They've been competitive. And now we're getting the Miami Dolphins, who have some really good players on defense. And I am concerned about this game, seeing that they have Minka Fitzpatrick, Demarcus Caver, some really good cover players. They're strong where we're trying to focus all our attention, throwing the ball down the field pretty much. And so far, the running game hasn't really been the strength of our team here in the postseason. I've given Saquon Barkley a lot of carries, but these defenses have been tough, and I expect nothing less here against the Miami Dolphins. So here we have the last game of the series, everybody. And afterwards, I will, of course, go through stats and legacy for Marquise Walker. But it's been a fun run, a fun series. But I want to get Walker that title. So let's go. Let's hope third time's a charm. The first two Super Bowls just haven't gone our way. The first one, Marquise Walker only had one touchdown pass and a 21-16 loss to the Chiefs. We need to score some points this time. Last year we lost to the Bills in the Super Bowl. They were also a 10-6 team. And the final score of that one was 24-17. So we haven't broken 17 points in two Super Bowl trips. It's clear. For us to win a Super Bowl, it needs to be because of Marquise Walker. So today, we know what we got to do. And this is our last chance to do it. The defense opens with a quick stop, and now I want to get out to a fast start with the offense. I don't want to play scared and hesitate on these passes. We got to play loose like we did early in the year, and we were getting all those wins. It looked like we were going to be a 15-1 team. So here we go. We're opening in the air. That's the only way this game can start, and it's nearly picked off for Odell Beckham. 17 points though, that's the most points we've scored in a Super Bowl. Draw play now, Saquon Barkley, not much. And we actually lost a yard on that. Last episode, Evan Ingram took over. And we'll see if the Dolphins can contain him. I know that it's a tough matchup for Odell Beckham, so we might need to count on Ingram a little bit more as he picks up 18. And now the handoff to Barkley. He's got a little daylight and crosses midfield. What do we got for matchups, though? The Odell matchup, it's pretty even. We have a slight route running advantage. Don't know about the matchup for Shepard right now. And Gresham has a nice one. So we'll see who we need to target to get this done. Now it's Shepard taken down. All right, got to pick up the yard now. Third and short for Saquon Barkley. And Barkley! I don't think he got it. We're going hurry up, though, because we are not kicking. Okay, it's a first down. We're all right. I was not going to start our offensive day by missing a 58-yard field goal or punting. Here we go. Rolling out. And downfield! We got him, everybody! Touchdown, Odell Beckham Jr.! I almost never look to that backside receiver on this play, but he got so open, and Odell opens the Super Bowl with the score. But here come the Dolphins. I wondered with their ratings, how would they compete in this game? They do have a really good quarterback, so that should give them a good chance to keep up if this turns into a high scoring game. And they'll open their second drive, rather, and get a field goal. All right, so we got the big play, and now we got a run. Oh, he spun free, and Saquon Barkley tries to spin again. He'll have a nice pickup. Two tight ends on the field again. Quick cut from Saquon Barkley and getting downhill. He's got 10 more. 
I like the way this is going so far for the offense. And now, sacked. I didn't want to throw the same interception I threw last episode on that pick six. So I held on to it a little long. Now we have Odell Beckham in the slot. Not a huge advantage there, but an advantage nonetheless. And we're just dumping it off. There's Saquon Barkley getting what he can. All right, third and eight. Dolphins will bring an extra pass rusher as we roll and throw incomplete. Nearly intercepted by Demarcus Caver that time. So the Dolphins got to stop. And they'll take it back. We'll pay attention to a lot of these possessions here. I want to see what they're able to do. And here it's not much. So now we begin at our 27-yard line. We're going to get Saquon Barkley the ball now in space. And good tackle by Miami. We'll keep Mullins in to protect. Might need some extra time here to separate from this coverage or to handle the rush. And that is incomplete. Really good play for the Dolphins. Third down and a dozen now. They'll have eight in coverage to defend. And yeah, there's not a whole lot we can do here. Down goes Walker. This team can cover, that's for sure. I think next possession I want to run the football a lot more. Great coverage by Miami on that drive. Some good defense all around. A 70-yard punt. Come on, Madden. All right, knocked away Marcus May. And let's get back to business. And focus on Saquon Barkley, who has had a few good carries already. I've been wanting to lean on him here in the postseason. Now we will, getting five. He gets it again. There's room for Barkley to run right down the middle and taken down. I think this defense wants you to throw it. And right now, I'm not going to do that for him. Saquon's off to a good start. And let's keep it in his hands. Got Hines on the field, too. I like that he's our second tight end in these situations. He's a good run blocker as he helped out on this play as Barkley gets another good chunk. But then you got to worry about fatigue. Now Barkley in the red. I could get Mullins some touches here. Instead, I'll just look to pass it. Barkley might need a rest after this play. But there's an open look. And Odell's got the first and more to the Dolphin 42. All right, Barkley's still in the game. We're on with some power now. See if this Dolphins front can handle it. Nice lead by Hines and a face mask. Bonus 15 tacked on. Now Barkley heads to the bench, and we're going to Le'Veon Mullins this time. And there's a lane, and Mullins will power ahead to the five-yard line. I don't think the Dolphins are ready for this kind of approach. I know Walker hasn't had big Super Bowls in the past. I'm not sure this one needs to be. Let's go up by two scores now. Mullins is still in. It's all fatigue, by the way, not a manual sub. And Mullins is denied at the goal line. I like this. Ball control. This is our 21st play right here. And we're going to run left. And it's Barkley back in. And he doesn't get in. We are inside the one-yard line. Power versus power here. Third down. Walker in for the quarterback sneak touchdown. And the Giants increase this first half lead. 14 to 3. We'll see if we get another drive before the half. Dolphins need something here. A long touchdown drive will go a long way. And they're really not having to use much time to get down the field. But they'll have to settle for a field goal. They'll leave us over a minute 30. Got to be careful here. They have covered pretty well. And I don't want to make a mistake with little time to go in the half. They're going to try a blitz here to open. And oh, that's incomplete. Even though he boxed out the defender. Let's go short now. Evan Ingram has the reception and is taken down across the 30. Down to a minute 15 now. We'll try to keep this drive going. Let's go uh, Zona Corner here. I like uh, third down plays where the running back has a decent route. So the design is to look left. I'm looking right on this. Third down and short. And 
Oh, it's picked! What a great play, and the Dolphins have it! He's still on his feet, and he'll take it all the way for a touchdown! Casey Hayward! I saw him begin to follow Barkley. And then the quick reaction on me trying to hit that spot route, and a phenomenal return. There it is, undercutting and staying on his feet. Broke two tackles. What a return. It's a brand new game now. 14-13. Wow, I thought that was actually kind of playing it safe, but this team can make plays. I'm not sure if you just saw that right there. Uh, Derek Kindred, the way he followed that crossing route before, it was really time. Like This is good cover instincts right here. He's at strong safety right here, and there's a cross coming across the field. And from here, you know, you might think he gets underneath that linebacker. But Kindred's in position before he needs to be, and that's uh, the route the play is designed to open up. You know, we have a home run running back here. I think that giving him a carry wouldn't be too bad of an idea, especially on, like, a draw play. Oh, man. See, I like the draw play because you can get second level blocking, but you still got to block up front first. I might just take a shot downfield here. It might get picked off again, but it's good risk management to uh, take a shot here with about 10 seconds left. I should have sent someone else downfield probably. How about Ingram? He's there and he's open and he's out of bounds. Now, can I get us closer in five seconds or do I just try the Hail Mary? The answer is the Hail Mary. I'm not getting us 15 yards in four seconds. So here we go. Need some time here, everybody. And it looks like we got it. Walker gets it off just in time. And come on, Gresham. It hit your nameplate. And it falls incomplete as we maintain a one-point lead through one half of play. Now we'll get this second half underway and hopefully no turnovers in this half. That pick six. That is the best pick six I think I've ever thrown. That was an amazing return. We're going to open with a fullback dive, though. Nice run for Hines. I think running the ball is a, a good strategy today. And I want to manage that so that Saquon Barkley isn't at like 20 carries at the end of the third quarter or anything. And here's a handoff. Barkley trying to get to the edge. And that's not going to happen. Great defense. 31-yard line. And on third and four. Odell's close. Closer than I'd like there, but he's got it. Saquon Barkley right down the middle. Perhaps the stretches, the tosses aren't going to be necessary plays today. They've got to stop the dives in the inside zone first. There's Barkley. Oh, man. Good stop. This defensive line, they seem to be better when it comes to run stopping than this linebacker core. You got to get past these guys first. Now a third and two. Looking to the right side. They don't blitz. And caught. Just out of reach as Ingram brings it in. That defender was so close to knocking that away. Now the drive continues, going back to Barkley, right down the middle, look at that lane, and Barkley with a juke! He's got nine more. Le'Veon Mullins turned to run right and get into the secondary, down to the 36. They load the box now, and it doesn't seem to matter, Mullins, he'll fight ahead, and down inside the 25. Very good possession going here for the Giants. First down. How about some play action now? And lobbing outside. Nothing there. Normally, I don't like second and ten runs. We might have drawn uh, an encroachment there. Or a neutral zone infraction. We did. The hard count did it. But uh, as I was going to say, like second and ten... Horrible running down, but in a game like this where you're having so much success, I don't, like, mind it a couple times. But now, we got a free five. 
So he can run it on second and five. And Saquon makes the right decision to break it out to the right side as the touchdown is saved at the 12. So now a brand new set of downs. We'll get it out quickly here. Focus on getting yards after the catch. It's certainly not a flashy passing game. There's Barkley. Oh, good stop. 76 yards, 17 carries. It's not like we're destroying them in the ground game, but it's been very boomer bust. A lot of carries like under a yard and a lot of carries over seven. So now we're trying to get this into the end zone here. Walker steps up. He's going to scramble and get in for another touchdown. Second rushing score of the day. And the Giants now have more points in this Super Bowl than we had in either of the two games, the other two Super Bowls that we've played. And here's a good look at it. They didn't have anyone to contain. And there it is. The Dolphins add three. So now it's a five-point game, and this next play will take us to the fourth quarter. Giants just trying to hang on to get that ring. Barkley, there we go. That linebacker backpedaling, and that's going to leave a lot of room for Barkley. Fourth quarter underway. Oh, I don't think we got him quite off sides there. Didn't snap it quick enough. That hard count, though, is working. Got to keep trying. I want those free plays. Second and two. That'll move the chains with Gresham stumbling. This is Saquon Barkley, and he's got more room. And he gets close to the 40-yard line at 96 yards rushing. A two-score lead here could put this out of reach. Remember, they have a defensive touchdown, so it's not like they've scored 16 on offense. Oh, Barkley tried to spin immediately. Third and short. I need Beckham to clear and sacked. I was holding on to it too long there. And then Walker is sacked. The Dolphins will get this back. Or we'll just gain yardage here. We're at their 28 now. Not sure what happened. I'll check. Maybe another Landon Collins turnover. That's what it normally is. But now a new set of downs, a new possession, and not much for Barkley. Well, I don't know what happened. It doesn't say. Wait a minute. Fourth and three, Walker pass to Spencer Gresham. I didn't pass the ball to Spencer Gresham. I don't know what happened. Fake field goal? Like, I have no clue. We just got gifted 15 yards. When it should have been punted. Oh well, that's Madden 19 for you. 21 16, and Gresham gets us closer. Third and short, it's Saquon Barkley stops shy again. Fourth down, and a field goal would make it an eight point game. And, well, we go backwards first, and then made the kick. So, eight point game. Huge possession now for the Dolphins. And they get a first down to Adam Humphreys. Seven yards and the turnover. Eight point game, Giants ball. We're close to putting this away. But no guarantees yet. They'll probably defend this fairly well. Or not. Barkley across the 40. We're going right back to him. Saquon Barkley bounces off a of contact, and he's got the first down. Clock winding inside three and a half. And yes, we're going back to the air now. And oh man, I might have had something there. I'm sliding. I might have had Ingram if I were to lead him to the right, but I just didn't know if I wanted to test that safety. Kindred has shown some good coverability in this game. We'll throw it again. Quick slant. And it's caught. Odell spun ahead to the first down marker. And that'll take us to the warning. 
two minutes left. Saquon Barkley and his 98 carrying now will try to finish this game. The Dolphins can use their timeouts, but we're already in short field goal range. So we just need to get a little closer and end this game. Barkley hangs on to it. And third and five. Maybe our last snap of the series. Barkley's tackled. And the Dolphins use their last timeout. Now they need Crocker to miss this kick. And we have it at the one. I have no idea how. But here we are. And we can take a couple knees. And this is over. I have no idea why the clock's running. That looks like a fourth down play that got us to the one. So Walker can take a knee. And he's going to be a champion this time. We are going to win the Super Bowl. But I want to know how we got the ball back. Was it the same thing as the previous time this happened? Jimmy Crocker. Jimmy Crocker got it done. Crocker threw it. Crocker who missed a key kick. I know in a prior Super Bowl. Now he helps us finish the job. And at last in this series. Marquise Walker in 18 digital seconds will be a Super Bowl champion. Finally, the first two could not get it done, but this time we got it. Walker gets his ring 24 16 in another close, competitive, fun game. I don't know what happened here down the stretch, but like our last eight games or so have been really fun. Every now and then, Things settle into place here in Madden, and you get better animation and just better gameplay, and that's what we got here to close the series. Fun time here with Marquise Walker, and I'm glad that we got him this ring. It was a long time coming, and now we can end the series knowing that the primary goal, or one of them anyway, has been completed. Walker has $700 million. He's the highest rated quarterback in the game, and now he's a champion. And the Super Bowl MVP is Marquise Walker. Well, he had two rushing touchdowns. He had one passing touchdown. I guess either him or Saquon Barkley, I'd have to say. But there we go. In Minneapolis, too. Forgot about that part. Odell, Saquon Barkley, Marquise Walker. That's why I picked this team. I wanted to play with these players. Odell and Saquon Barkley were everything I wanted from this series. And so there you have it, everybody. Mission accomplished. I expected our defense to do really well in this game. Walker and Percy had similar passing numbers on the day. And then Saquon Barkley took over with the running game. And I thought that that was a big reason why we won. You could have named Barkley the MVP, even without a touchdown. 27 carries, 118 yards, and then in the air, a touchdown for Odell, six catches for Ingram. Not bad. Tough at times, especially after that pick six, but hey, we got it done. And that is going to bring us to the end of the Marquise Walker Career Mode series. It was fun taking Marquise Walker from being an undrafted quarterback at just 70 overall and then showing that over time, as long as you put up big numbers, you can get a player whatever development they need to become stars. And that's what happened here with Marquise Walker. It was fun winning the job. And then, you know, this first year was kind of tough. But then as the ratings got better, the game got a lot easier. And then four straight years of good play from Walker. Three straight Super Bowl appearances. And then the eventual win. Here was the rushing success for Walker, and I'll get to the uh, full career stats here right now. 154 touchdowns for Walker to go with 50 interceptions. I'll take a 3 to 1 ratio all day. Over 20,000 yards, sacked 256 times. And rushing, Walker had almost 2,000 rushing yards, 18 rushing touchdowns, and 39 fumbles. Here are the numbers for Barkley, by the way, over 6,000 rushing. And then Odell, very close to 10,000 receiving. Very, very good stuff here. 
It was fun playing with this offense. It was fun playing with Walker again. But now the series can come to an end, and I hope you all enjoyed the journey with Marquise Walker. Thank you all for watching. I do not know if I'll be doing any more career mode series here in the near future, but perhaps if I find the right player and the right idea, there will be something new at some point. But right now I'm going to be focusing on franchise style content. And that's all I got for today, everybody. I'll have Madden 20 franchise coming your way here in the next few days as I get a new series underway. And I will see you all then. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave your favorite memories from the series below in the comment section, and I'll see you all again next time. Have a great day.